is Grace from Grace Does Glitter, and today I'm going to be doing some curly hair empties. I only have yeah, like six products, so this should be pretty quick, um, but I wanted to give them all a little bit of an in-depth review, and I personally prefer shorter videos as opposed to longer videos myself, although I probably just posted a video that was like 20 minutes long, but who cares? Anyway. The first empty that I have is the Wee Dodd Unbreakable Bond Bond Building Conditioner. I loved this stuff. This stuff was so, so good. Um, it was sent to me via uh, Skeepers, I think is what it's called now, Octoly. I wanted to try the, the Bond Control, sorry, the Unbreakable Bonds line, which is a, a pretty new one to them. Um, the benefits of this is that it's fragrance free. So if you're sensitive to fragrance and you have curly hair and you like want a really good curly hair product. Um, this is a really good line of, of uh, shampoos and conditioners. I have to be honest, I'm kind of breaking away from curly hair strict products. So like, I do like when products are targeted towards curly hair, especially with stylers, but in terms of like shampoos and conditioners, I think it's the quality over the marketing for me right now. Um, I would definitely repurchase this in particular, but I've replaced it with the L'Oreal Bond Repair Conditioner, which is also very good. I would say this one is better. I love the Wee Dodd line. Um, this one felt like a cloud in my hair. Like I could just feel that it was like wrapping my hair in moisture and it really improved the health of my lengths. Um, as someone with curls, maybe you are also someone with curls, um, the lengths of your hair can get really, really dry and you lose a lot of definition through lack of moisture. And I thought that this was really good at adding moisture back into the hair. Um, in terms of bond bonding, I, I can't say I saw much of a difference with this just because I use other bonding products, um, but this one I think is a good option. Um, it says moisturize, repair, and strengthen hypoallergenic formula. So if you're looking for a fun, somewhat expensive new shampoo and conditioner line to try. I really liked the conditioner in this line. The shampoo, nah, I could take it or leave it. Okay, the second thing that I have is the HERS Rapid Repair Hair Mask with shea butter, coconut milk, and keratin. Um, so this is was supposed to be made for dry damaged hair um, and you can also use it as a scalp mask. I really wanted to use this as a scalp mask. It smells amazing, by the way. It was really like lightweight and bouncy, like the formula itself, and it lasted me a really long time. I think I've had this maybe a year or something. I would not repurchase this. I feel like with masks, I much prefer something that has more slip to it. Um, I felt like this did sit on top of my hair a good amount of the time. I think that was the shea butter. Shea butter doesn't tend to work very well for my hair type. Um, I think it just sits on top of my hair and then it kind of creates a film. Um, but this was a solid three out of five. Better than your average hair mask, but I'm not gonna repurchase it. Okay, the next empty that I have is the Alpa Botanicals Rosemary Hair Oil. Um, this I did use on my scalp and it was okay. Um, I do like rosemary for hair growth. I've been using a lot of like, I make rosemary tea. You know, I like boil rosemary and use the rosemary water to like dump on my hair as a last step in the shower and then I don't rinse it out. It's like my last rinse. Um, I do that like once a week and it's really helped with my hair growth um, and like keeping my hair healthy as it grows. Uh, this hair oil was great. I would recommend this, it's good. However, I think I'm just gonna stick with my rosemary tea stuff. And also, um, these little droppers, the delivery system of them is kind of, uh, it's hard to like get an even distribution. And so I ended up decanting this into something else. Let me go. So I did end up decanting the rosemary hair oil into this root comb uh, hair oil distributor and it of course distributes the oil through all of these. So you can get like an even application and because it's a comb, it really gets to the scalp. Um, I really like 
this. I got it from Amazon, of course it's refillable. Um, but I am gonna refill it with a different oil. Um, I like to try out different oils. I'm not really like super committed to one or the other. Um, I've used a lot of sweet almond oil on my scalp and stuff like that, but I do like doing hot scalp oil treatments, like warm. What I do is I like submerge this thing in um, boiled water. So I boil water in a kettle, dump it in a, like, what do you call it? A pot. And then I submerge this in there for like four to five minutes. Um, and then when it's warm, I put that on my scalp before I shower. I don't do that every time I shower, but I do that quite frequently. Um, and I was just putting this on my hair before showering and it was good. Recommend, but I'm not gonna run out and get it again. Okay, three more things. I'm gonna try to get through them quickly. So I have this Seb Claire shampoo, um, not strictly a curly hair shampoo, actually a seborrheic dermatitis. Seborrheic? Seborrheic dermatitis shampoo. So um, like a, a dandruff shampoo. Um, the bottle's really small and I'm on my second bottle of it now. I don't use this every time my shampoo, but you have, mostly because you have to leave it on for five minutes. Um, and when you leave it on for five minutes, it works like a dream. It's great stuff. Expensive for how little the bottle is. I wish they made a bigger bottle of this, but I can't even blame it on the pink tax because this was recommended to me by my best friend's husband. <laughs> so. Another, another thing for hair growth, because I've been trying to grow my hair long. I think I've said this a bunch of times and it's working. Like my hair is pretty long right now. You know, I, last summer it was like up to here and now it's down to there. And I do get frequent trims as well, you know, whatever. Um, so I have this up and up extra strength minoxidil hair regrowth treatment for men. Um, and I'm pretty sure it says on the box, not for use by women, but I'm going to ignore that. You guys can heed that warning if you want to. I don't believe them. Um, this came in a pack of three. Uh, this was like the first bottle and it's supposed to last you a month. It's lasted me longer than that because I don't use it every night because it kind of makes my scalp meh. So like, kind of like sticky and stuff. Anyway, this is a nice hair regrowth treatment. Before I was using this, I was using Vegamore, which the pink tax on that is just insane. Like for a little month supply, I think it was like $49. This is $30 for a pack of three. So just much better value for money. Also, you guys are gonna laugh. So I actually decanted this into this and you guys are gonna be like, what the heck is that? This is a liquid comb. So basically what you do is it's got these like little comb pieces in it and these have rolls on them, like they roll around and they distribute the minoxidil throughout your hair. So I really don't wanna do it cause I don't want it to get my scalp. But basically that's what you do. And you press this little button on top and it releases the minoxidil through the liquid comb. I just think, you know, you gotta get on the next level with this stuff. Do you have to? No, 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 you don't. You could use the little dropper that comes with this, um, but I'm gonna use the liquid comb because it makes me feel fancy. Okay, <laughs> final hair care empty is the Jonathan Van Ness JVN Nurture Deep Moisture Mask. And this was sent to me. I actually have a replacement of it. I actually, I think I was sent the replacement and I bought one originally. Can't remember which one this is, but I have another backup of it. It's great stuff. I love this hair mask. I use it instead of uh, conditioner like once a week and it's just really good. When it says deep moisture, it means like really deep moisture. It's not heavy. It's just like your hair, well my hair, just like drinks it all in. It smells so good. It smells like, um, this is gonna sound really niche. It smells like the Bellagio, if you've ever been to the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas. And I say that as someone who's not been to the Bellagio since they were eight years old, but this is what I remember the Bellagio smelling like. So, uh, it smells like an expensive hotel uh, and it works wonders on my hair. And you know, thank you to JVN. I really appreciate all of the PR they've sent me. 
over the past year. So that's all the hair care empties that I have for today, um, curly hair empties. Um, not all of them being strictly for curly hair, but these work really well for my curly hair. Um, I have type 2C, 3A, some ringlets, you know, a lot of waves towards the top. So if you have similar hair to me or you're just interested in hair care, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye.